Richard, welcome back to another Fantasy Goodfellas video where you're going to share the top 15 tight end rankings for week two. You ready? Let's do it. The Fantasy Goodfellas. Boom, boom, boom. Hey. Oh. Oh. Only on the field. Good All right, before we get started on this week's rankings, let's just review how we did in week one with the top 15 tight ends. Well, in week one, we hit on six of our top 10 and nine of our top 15, which is not amazing, but it's pretty good. As we get started with this year's top 15 tight end rankings for week two, we're going to do the video a little bit different. Richard's going to give his rankings, and then I'm going to challenge him on why he chose that tight end for that ranking. Richard, take it over. Number one, Travis Kelsey, who will be at Baltimore. You think Travis Kelsey can keep up his pace from week one? Yes, he's basically keeping up the pace he had all of last year. So absolutely he can. And number two, Darren Waller at Pittsburgh. You know, John Gruden said Darren Waller is the best player he's ever coached. Why can't Waller be in that top spot? He can be. He can be and he will be. Let's see how he does week two. The big difference here is Mahomes versus Derek Carr. And number three, George Kittle at Philadelphia. Kittle didn't score in week one. Do you think he's going to get into the end zone in week two? I think so. I think he's going to, he's going to get more targets. They blew out Detroit, so there was really no need to pass. And they relied more on the run. I think this week they're going to have to pass it some more, and Kittle will benefit. And number four, Rob Gronkowski, home against the Atlanta Falcons. Rob Gronkowski got into the end zone twice in week one. What should we expect in week two? I think at least one more end zone trip. Tom Brady loves to look for him in the red zone, as we saw in the first game. They're playing the Falcons. This could be another great Gronk game. And number five, Kyle Pitts at Tampa Bay. Wow, Kyle Pitts is in your top five. He didn't do anything in week one. I guess you expect that to change. Absolutely. They're going to have to pass. Matt Ryan will have to pass against Tom Brady. So this is the test. If they stink it up again this week, Kyle Pitts could be in for a long year. And number six, Dallas Goddard, who will be hosting the 49ers. He had a pretty good game, about 50 yards and a TD. Are we going to expect more yards or uh, more TDs in week two? I mean, I'm loving Jalen Hurts. I'm loving everything he's doing. San Francisco is a good team. I think both teams in this game are going to put up points. Goddard's going to do well. And number seven, TJ Hawkinson at Green Bay. He had a good week one, probably because Jared Goff had a good week. Do you think Goff is going to continue this? No. No. I think Detroit as a team it is a steaming pile of junk. But they're going to fall behind in a lot of games. So you might get a lot of garbage time stats, which is what happened with Jared Goff, what happened with Swift, what happened with Williams and TJ Hawkinson. The, re the thing here is TJ Hawkinson's really talented, but the Lions are really, really bad. And number eight, and number eight, we have Noah Fant, who is at Jacksonville. Well, that's a good matchup for Fant, and Bridgewater's looking good. So how do you think this is going to play out? I think I, I, you nailed it on the head. I think it's a good matchup. Bridgewater's look comfortable in this offense. Noah Fent is a good tight end. Hence, he's in our top 10. And number nine, Logan Thomas, who will be home against the Giants. Well, what a travesty with Fitzpatrick going down. Do you think Thomas can still have a good season with their backup? We'll see. We'll see what Taylor Heineke brings to the table. Um, right now, I don't have Heineke in my top 24. As far as a quarterback, I think this obviously affects Logan's value, but it's one of those situations where we have to put him in our top 15 because he's so good. And number 10, Mike Gazicki, home against the Buffalo Bills. Gazicki didn't have a good week one. I know he's a good tight end. What should we expect from week two against Buffalo? Yeah, last week one was an aberration. I don't know what happened. Expect Gazicki to get some action this week. He's just too good. And number 11, Mark Andrews, who will be home against Kansas City. Mark Andrews is a good tight end, but he's got Lamar Jackson at quarterback. That can't help his fantasy stock. Yes, that is an issue. Lamar Jackson doesn't pass for much. But 
Mark Andrews only caught for 20 yards last week. They have a good matchup this week. Lamar Jackson's going to have to pass against the Chiefs. We'll see how Mark Andrews does, but I expect to have Mark Andrews low, maybe out of my 15 most of the year. And number 12, Tyler Higby at Indianapolis. Bat Stafford looks great. How much can that help Higby throughout the season? It's going to help a lot. Higby will be in the top 15 most of the season as long as Stafford is the quarterback for the Rams. At number 13, we have Florida International University product, Johnny Smith at the New York Jets. I watched that game, and Mac Jones was looking for Johnny Smith throughout the game. How do you think that chemistry plays out throughout the rest of the season? I, I like it. I think Mac Jones is going to be all right. I think John Smith is going to be all right. He'll, he'll be in our top 15 a lot. And number 14, Jared Cook, who will be home against the Dallas Cowboys. Well, that's a good matchup. Do you expect big things for Cook this week? I think he's going to do well enough to be in the top 15. He has Justin Herbert as a quarterback, and he's playing against the Cowboys, one of the worst defenses in the league. And number 15, Jawan Johnson at Carolina. Who the heck is this guy? Yeah, he's a newbie out of nowhere. I think people are jumping on that Jameis Winston bandwagon. He looked good week one. Jawan Johnson looks like he's the number one tight end in New Orleans. I think with another good performance, he might be a regular in the top 15. All right, Richard, thanks for coming on here and sharing your top 15 tight end rankings for week two. Thank you for having me. Remember to like and subscribe, watch our other videos, and, and catch us every week. We'll be here. The fantasy Man, good fellas. Boom, boom, boom. Hey. Oh, on the field. Hey. 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 Good fellas.